Repeat after me, charcuterie. This is actually the amazing kind of skill to put cheese and meat together in one platter. And I'm going to show you how to make one that's going to impress everyone and it will be in your budget as well. I'm going to give you the tips how to make this amazing ultimate cheese board in a budget. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are doing good. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. I'm posting more than one video every week. So let's get started. So to make this platter, you need a platter or a board. So I'm using here the circle one or you can use any kind of board you have. I'm using here the lazy Susan because it's movable. It's going round and round and round. So I like it. Everyone can get whatever they want by just moving it. And first thing first, prepare everything. I have here cheese and I'm going to use the soft cheeses because in my family everybody loves to eat soft cheeses. I have warm cheese, I have soft cheeses, feta cheese, different kind of cheese. Okay, so uh, as to be on a budget, I told you I will give you the options and the tips how to make this board in a budget you can just use the normal sliced cheese cheddar cheese sliced cheese mozzarella cheese mozzarella balls uh, and uh, the thin ones the cheddar ones as you like this one is my favorite one this is the feta cheese and here in the middle east they put them in some sauces and it's easily available in supermarket i don't know if it's available in your country or no but here it's easily available and it's uh, very common so as you can see i have set my cheese first now i'm using here the meat the meat here are mortadella slices you can use any kind you can even use a sausage no need to worry about it just use the sausage and fold them as you like so i'm making here the rows i'm going to put half in the uh, half slice in and half out on the glass as you can see and repeating it uh, repeating the procedure with all my slices and just churn it flip it and it's done isn't it beautiful it looks super cute now let's see the close-up just put half in half out and repeat the procedure with all your mortadella slices it depends on how many you want to put in your one flour So again I'm going to just flip it remove the glass and your rose is done so as you can see my cheese and the meat is done now it's time to put some other goodies so here I'm adding some grapes greens are always perfect to add in everything it just pop up and give that bright color and here I have gems you can use any kind of gem you have like homemade jam or whatever I'm using here Nutella because cheese and chocolate is very exciting together they make exciting flavor so just use whatever kind of uh, chocolate you have before anything any kind of fruit i am putting here some strawberries grapes because in my family they love to eat the strawberries and grapes and it depends on your family you can use banana you can add banana you can add apple as you like here i have some green olives i put them in a bowl and my cherry tomatoes i just put them into these cube sticks and then i'm putting them in there you can add even cucumber if you don't have cherry tomatoes where you live you can just go and get the cucumber cut them into slices and put into these cube sticks here i'm using your bread sticks or rusk you can use crackers or any kind of biscuits you have at or even if you want to be in a budget and you don't want to go and buy the crackers or the rusk so just the bread normal bread slices up toast it in the oven and then add it in your the platter i don't have enough space in my platter so i decided to put some rusk so they look much better and cute as well so i'm adding here my galaxy as well the chocolate you can add the local chocolate as well or you can be more fancy and use a dark chocolate whatever you like there is no hard and fast rule to make this and look it's look pretty amazing right and it's very presentable to eyes as well okay so i'm going to add blueberries in the end because blueberries are very small and i want my guests to see it like uh, they so they can just uh, have it easily 
Now, for the charcuterie board, you need to have some utensils. These are the cheese utensils. If you don't have them, you can just use fork, normal forks, small forks, okay? So, I'm putting my utensils. And make sure you cut some of your cheese because the guests will not feel shy. Um, I don't know why, but if you don't cut it, they will feel shy and they're not going to start by themselves. So it's better you cut a small piece and before you serve them. As, you, as I told you, like uh, the, here I have a small fork. They are disposable and uh, I love them. They look very cute as well. And I'm putting them all around here or there. So, uh, for the bread, as I told you, I don't have enough space on my board for the bread. So, I have sliced some bread and I'm putting honey next to the bread. It's a very beautiful combination of having some cheese on your slice with the honey on the top. It's exciting, right? Make it during the weekend and let me know if you like it. Thanks for watching.